Pyro. Her favorite foods are skeddy and butter, and she likes drinking Red Bull and Mountain Dew. Mm, I'm impressed. Y'all kids is the real deal. Y'all ain't like that lying motherfucker Tony to be telling me he gonna do shit and then don't be doing it. Talking about he forgot and shit. You better forget this pussy, you know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't got time for no nigga that got time for fucking but ain't got time for me. I'm too classy for that shit. So I told that nigga Tony, look, my pussy and my mind ain't mutually exclusive. You gonna have to stimulate both them motherfuckers. Cause it's plenty of other niggas out there dying to get up in this, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't no hoe. I ain't gonna fuck no nigga just cause he got an endorsement deal and he drive a car from Back to the Future. Trying to act like he Marty McFly and shit. First of all, I fucked Michael J. Fox and I know your dick ain't big as his. That's why he's so short in the first place. Cause all his height went in between his motherfucking legs. Big ass dick. Shaking like a vibrator and shit. I mean, it was good and all, but then that oh, nigga started falling in love with me, asking me to marry him, live up in his mansion and shit. I ain't got time to be living in nobody's mansion. I gotta be out in these streets making my money. Cause I don't need no nigga paying my bills. I got my pussy on direct deposit, you know what I'm saying? All right, that's enough. This a bank of classy, am I sh- Sarge said you helped us out yesterday. Wanted me to see if you'd help us out on another case today. Sure. I think you can do some real good in this town, kid, but you gotta learn to play by the rules. Talk to Detective Harris. Invalid buddy. Sheet filled out. Go over to Crunchy's micro booth. Somebody there can help you. Oh my god. Oh, uh, uh, hey, new kid. Yeah, uh, so it turns out gender is actually a little more, uh, complicated than what we talked about yesterday. Uh, okay, um, could you come back to my office so we could sort this out, maybe? Uh, okay, thanks. Okay. Oh no. So I got a lot of stuff to do now. Gotta go to the brewery, gotta go to the school. Gotta go. Alright, we'll go to the school first. I think. Yeah. We'll go to the school first. Girls can do anything we put our minds to. And right now, we're making sassy snow, bitch. On my way to the school. On my way to the school. Find out more on my gender. My parents totally drank too much last night. It was hilarious. Looks like your butt can do some crazy shit. Maybe you can use your farts to pause time. Have fun. I know that. I keep forgetting I go back to where I was. Fuck <laughs> off. Oh, great. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. All right. 
Now, I got some, uh, some feedback from the principal that uh, our discussion about sex, I, I mean about gender, wasn't uh, precise enough. And, uh, <laughs> well, he, he gave me some guidelines how to do a more uh, uh, thorough pass, helping you identify your gender. Okay. Is the gender that you were assigned with at birth the gender that you currently identify with? Okay. Okay, great. So as you know, that means that you're cisgendered. Okay, great. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about with your gender <laughs> is your sexuality. Now, a lot of people think that gender and sexuality are the same, but no, that's bi. That's wrong. It's bi. Okay. Now, how would you describe the sex of the kinds of people you find yourself, uh, sexually attracted to? Okay, so that makes you straight or heterosexual. Okay. Correct. Mm. Correct. Well, I'm really glad we had this talk, okay? Just be careful, okay? Because there's there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're gonna have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. Okay. Hey, All right, I'm done with you. I don't need any in the gym. Yeah, they're cisgender. And they're heterosexual, too. We don't take kindly to your types around here. <laughs> Let's welcome this thing to our town. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Standing there like a little bitch deer in the headlights. If you actually read the Constitution, you'd understand it's my patriarchal duty to fuck you up. I'm big! <laughs> Alright. Ha cha cha cha! Oh no, my glazies! Okay, bye for now! <laughs> You fuck with the coon, you answer to his friends, right guys? My turn. Hell yeah! <laughs> Maybe we can be pals after you check well, out of the ER. The right guy. Here I go. Mega this under roof. Quit screwing around, butt lord. America, love it or get your ass kicked, socialist. Ah. That settles it. Beating you kids up was definitely the right decision. Coon won't last long at this rate. on your own guts. I'd hate for you to fall and hurt yourself. Yeah! Walk it off, butt lord. Don't mess this up, dickbag. Uh. Butt lord's coming out blasting. Take that. Captain Guy Lee, prepare to strike. <laughs> Don't you know how to read a room? Next time, leave before things get awkward. My turn. Mega Paul Puss. Leave our friend alone, fiend! That sucks. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. I don't. Run! 
Jackie. That sucks for you, new kid. I'm counting on you, partner. Big bad. We'll never defeat Coon and friends. Make way for Coon. They want to apply some light pressure to those wounds. Tell them what you're made of, butthole. You know how to take a hit, diabetes. Thanks for noticing, Super Crack. Thanks, that saved me a punch. Good news, everybody, it's my turn. Come and get me, dick. See, Super Crack, you can emote when you want to. Emote this. Station is the next place to go. Party in the evidence locker after we nabbed that vigilante. Who are you supposed to be? Gypsy magician? Go on through. Hey, little crime stopper, back for more? I got something you might be interested in. Turns out that scum you fucked up is just the low guy on the totem pole. We now believe the real kingpin is over here, on your phone, that I'm holding right now. <laughs> Thanks for letting me hold your phone to show you this. He's hiding out in some big luxury mansion bought with blood money, scumbag. This is a whole nother level, little crime fighter. His house is like a fortress. Every window and door is wired to a state-of-the-art, high-tech <laughs> security system. You'll need this. This mobile hacking device will help you bypass the security system. Good hunting, hero. Just remember that you didn't leave. Yes, it's just you for now. I gotta grab some more stuff to put in it. Alright. Where am I going now? Frenchie's micro, so straight up. That vigilante's taking all the fun out of law enforcement. There's a microbrewery. You'll find a person inside who can assist you with race. Good luck. 
Super Craig, out. <laughs> And now you got a problem with me! I'm not just gonna sit here and do nothing while you insult this man's ethnicity! I wasn't insulting him. Excuse me! Did you or did you not say that this man seemed tired? Yes, he's my friend. I said, Paolo, you look tired. Microaggression! <laughs> <laughs> Persons of Hispanic backgrounds have been stereotyped as being sleepy and saying they look tired is a microaggression that will not stand! But I am tired. <laughs> you! You're the new kid, right? I'm the principal of your school, my name is PC Principal. I was told you wanted to talk to me about some race issues. Okay, come at me. <laughs> come on, you want to learn about race, right? Give me your best shot. It's a nice day, isn't it? What's wrong with you? You can't just attack for no reason. Try again. It's a nice day, isn't it? Mm, yes, very good. That was indeed not a microaggression. Oh. All right, round two. I ate a hamburger last week. All right, that was also not a microaggression. This time I will use a microaggression, and you will see how it gives you a free shot. All right, everybody, listen up. I'm about to use a microaggression, but it's only for the use of training this young person in the ways of the social justice warrior. Thank you, microaggression. About to happen. Thank you. <laughs> My friend Brian looks like a chick. Microaggression! Hit him! Oh, oh. Not bad, kid. Not bad at all. Not only is the word chick derogatory to females, but also criticizing a male for looking feminine is a microaggression towards person of transgender. Now let's see if you can spot a microaggression that's more subtle. My pants are warm. My pants are warm. Wrong! My pants are warm is not a microaggression! That coffee belongs to Tim Sherman. I heard it's going to rain. Janet likes to roller skate. What's wrong with you? You can't just attack for no reason. Try again. I guess that was wrong. Janet likes to roller skate. Mr. Yamashiro is actually a very good driver. Microaggression. Hit him. Uh, uh, uh. Nice kid, very nice indeed. Using the term actually inferred that maybe other Asian Americans are not good drivers. And the use of Mr. is offensive to persons of third gender. Now before we talk <laughs> about your race, I need you to get out there and do some PC work for me. I'll let you know when I think you're ready. Okay. Remember kid, people use microaggressions every day. I'm counting on you to make them pay for doing so. Gosh, darn it, I don't think that vigilante setting a good example for the young folks. Warren, you a brave little whatever you are. Hmm, yeasty. Hop, stunt your growth, child. Do you, you sure are the weirdest superhero I've seen all day. Okay, I'll follow you. Thanks, kid, but that was a real cool picture. Gosh, darn it, I don't think that vigilante. A true warrior is understanding, non biased, and is politically. Co right. So, where are we going now? Two hundred. I uh, will wait to do that. We'll go to here. Yeah. Talk to Tweak. I got boob pics, Forthy. Check them out. Big out of 
never a clock to never a clock. Top of Morgan Freeman's house. Spreading some good chaos today. Triple A chaos. Take that triple A chaos. Now to prove my worth to chaos. You kids mind doing your Comic Con bullshit somewhere else? What is this, Comic Con or something? <laughs> Those are some pretty low rank superhero guys. You should have blocked that. Kneel before chaos, fool! Yeah. Uh, I've seen better special effects on 1980s Doctor Who. <laughs> Run home to mommy, fool! Microaggression! Hit him! <laughs> You little cosplayers need to work on your stunt coordination. Entropy! Yeah. Wow! Hey. It's chaos time! <laughs> Someone better clean up all that blood. Alright, my turn. Okay. I can't do anything. I can do that. Suck on death. Oh, just watching this beat every gum off the seat. Okay, so. I can do this. Ow. Hey, are those real special effects or CGI? I'm back again! You're back again? Yeah! Uh oh, I forgot my antiseptic nasal cream. <laughs> Next time I'll show you what I really meant to do. Minion ready! <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I hope the master saw that. You ain't shit. Your uh, 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 attack will be fueled my rage. Fucking finally. He's coming through. Oh. Knock your shit off before I call the real fighting vigilante. Disorder shall rage. Yeah. Don't just take that lying down, butt boy. Oh, no. Wah. You give me strength. Yeah. Yeah. Diabetes claim. 
claims another victim. There we are. Topsy turvy time, twerps. Out <laughs> for you, dude. On me, let's swarm these fuckers. <laughs> ah. oh. Try to give a fuck, will you, Craig? Yeah, you bet. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, what should I do? Can you hurry this up? This is a place of business. Let's go with... Boom. Shit. Not what I meant to fucking do. Now you're gonna get it. This is the lamest superhero battle I have ever seen. Congratulations, now I'm pissed. That looked totally fake. I can see the wire. Guys, I think the coon's really dead. The nerve of that villain! Captain Diabetes, into the fray! Heroes making me slow. Kneel before chaos or forfeit your beauty life. Embrace the chaos. That sucks for you. Oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. All right, who's turn is that? Let's rumble. <laughs> Ow! Die, puny humanling. Nagy nag. Oh shit! Oh, I can finally go? Thanks. Put this on your food friend. <laughs> now that this, this calls for a new trip reaction, villains! Chaos is inevitable! <laughs> ha, huh? That's bullshit. I will defeat you! Excited. Boom. Well, that get fight. up, new kid. We beat them without you. Was well, a lot harder than I helped. All right, listen. I have this ex-friend who I hate now, and he still has my goddamn laptop. Go get it from him and tell him if he doesn't let you have it, I'm calling the fucking cops. His name is Tweak. You'll probably find him at his parents' coffee house. Get my fucking laptop back for that prick. <laughs> All right. Let's Hello, go get welcome laptop. to Tweak Coffee. What can I interest you in today? Sorry, young man. I can only take selfies with customers. Sorry, I'm just so worried about Tweak. Does he seem okay to you? Okay. Hmm. You come on back any time. We'll be right here. The farting vigilante is here. Okay. Oh. How are those taste tests coming, son? I can't even taste the difference anymore. Well, keep sampling. We need to come up with the perfect sunset blend. Give me my fucking laptop. Oh, you work for him, huh? Well, you 
can go back and tell him he can have his laptop back when I get my fucking guinea pig back. Huh? We bought it when we were together, but Stripe is mine. Huh? I paid for him, and I have the receipt. You think it's right for him to keep Stripe while he's the one who didn't stand up for me? You tell him that. Uh. Ha. That jerk! Ha. Ha. Like he has any right to demand stuff from me! Ha. All right, back outside. Well, what did Tweak say about my laptop? The fucking guinea pig? <laughs> Fine. You know where Stripe's cage is. Go get him and give him to that fucking asshole. When you give that to Tweak, you make sure he knows that when you walk out on someone, you don't get to make up the rules anymore. You escaped from the circus, kid? I sure miss watching them whip those elephants. My duty, now <laughs> I must depart. All right, that was fun, wasn't it? All right, well, this looks like a good spot to end for today. Hope everyone's enjoying South Park the Fractured Butthole. Till next time.